All right, this is uh, a brief instructional video on the jam song, Just Who Is the Five O'Clock Hero. Um, I posted this recently on my channel, and the truth is, the hardest part of this song were these intro chords that took me some hours to figure out. So I thought I'd go ahead and, and show you how I suss them out. Um, I watched a lot of other people play this online, and I don't think anybody who was not Paul Weller or Russell Hastings um, played it correctly. You know, they, they made some nice approximations, but I don't think they got it quite right. Because when I watched the old Weller footage uh, from the jam, he stayed right here at the fifth fret and just shifted his finger positions right here, and then he jumped down here to the second and then up here to the 10th, right? Uh, so the mystery was, okay, what in the world is he playing here at the fifth fret? Because it almost sounds like the same chord when you're listening to the gift with Bruce's bass line descending behind it. It almost sounds like Weller's just striking the same chord. But of course he's not, because when you watch him play it live, you see him move his fingers around, right? So I was trying to figure out those finger movements and I think I finally got it figured out. So um, I'm gonna show you that here on this uh, 1966 Rickenbacker Model 335 uh, that's been around the block a few times, beaten up pretty well, but it's a great old guitar. And with some help of the modern technology of my Boss ME50 pedal and two really good amps on both sides of me, I think I can approximate that 1970s Rickenbacker high gain sound because I don't have a 70s Rick. I kind of go for the 60s Ricks. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyway, fifth fret. So uh, this is really an A chord that it's built around. You know, down here, the A. Right? And when most people play an A at the fifth fret, they're going to do a bar chord like this. So you're going to bar the fifth, E shape with your fingers, and right, which is a great chord. But you can't do the funny business that Weller does and have it sound right if you're playing a bar chord. He actually grabs his chords like this. And he does this almost all the time. Um, which is, you know, it's not the way I play chords, but it's the way Paul Weller played chords. So in order to get this song right, you really have to grab it here at the fifth, okay? So you make an A chord by uh, barring the uh, bottom four strings with your index finger, coming in with your middle stringer and nailing the uh, G string at the sixth fret, and then at the seventh fret with your ring and index finger, you're fretting out the A and D string, and then your thumb curls over and catches this low E, right? So this then is your is your A chord. Okay? So the progression that he plays goes like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm starting here at the 5th fret playing this A chord like I showed you, right? And it's really important that your index finger is fretting out the bottom four strings because you're going to need that as you go along. So here's your shape for the first A chord. Next chord is you take your middle and ring finger and you hit the 6th uh, fret at the um, D string and G string, and you get this, right? And it's almost like this, this A string is being muted by your thumb at this point. So you're getting this nice kind of almost jazzy chord, right? Then the next chord is simple. You just remove your middle finger, and you've got this. And then the next chord is at the 7th fret B string with your pinky and the 7th fret D string with your 
ring finger and you get this. Right? So that progression once again is like this. Then Weller jumps down here to the second fret and bars. He actually plays, plays this chord here and then in an A minor shape for this chord. Then you quickly jump that up to the 10th fret, uh, uh, barring the 10th in an E shape and you get this chord. Then just drop it down one and remove your pinky. And then he does that really cool, uh, just give me the living room beat to the TV sound part, right? Where he's here at the uh, sixth fret going like this. Whoops. Uh, yeah. So here he is at the sixth fret. Uh, barring and that at the 7th fret he's on the G string and then at the 8th fret at the A string right and then he's coming sneaking in with his pinky and doing an accent note on the G string so hammering on and pulling off right as you strum it and then he drops quickly down here to the third fret. Whoops, pardon me. Yes. Yep, third fret. Uh, barring the third, and then at the fifth, you're at the A string with your ring finger, and then you hammer on at the, um, the G string fifth. Right? And then we come up here where he sings uh, at the 11th, where he sings, from this window I've seen the whole world pass, right? So bar the 11th in an E shape. Drop it one and remove the pinky. So that's at the 8th in an E shape. So 8th fret, E shape, right, then you're, then you're compressing the uh, D, G, and B strings with your ring finger, and then back to the 10th, E shape, A minor shape, then to the 11th, barring in an E shape, and then you finish out that run here at the 10th. At the, uh, Now we're at the bridge where it's ba 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 with the horns, right? He actually changes keys and he drops down to the third fret now and he does the same thing that we did at the fifth, only at the third. So it's like this. the 8th and 7th. So back here to the 3rd fret, right? Same thing, same shape we did at the 5th. So here. Whoops, let's see. Then 
we jump right back to the fifth where he sings, all right then love, so I'll be off now, you know? All right then love, so I'll be off now. So those are the basic elements of that song. You put those together where they belong, and you've got the song. But those first first uh, run of chords, I think that's what Weller's playing, what I showed you. So give it a whirl, see what you think. Great song. Thanks for watching.